Welcome back to the San Diego Automotive Museum. We're just hanging out here with, with Paul Newman here. Uh, yeah, we have a, this, the bike that he actually used in a movie here on display. We have it out of the way right now because we're moving such things out. But uh, do you think this is a star? Yeah, check this baby out. This is a star. 1970 Ford LTDs, Country Squire, nicknamed Billy Squire by the owner. Lovely car, all original, astounding, well, let me, it's restored, I apologize, it's a, it's a restored vehicle, but if you look at this lovely thing, look at the hidden headlights, you gotta love hidden headlights. People might think, I have, I don't understand why people sometimes say th ugly things about station wagons, because look at this grill inset. Again, details, look at these lines. Now, outside of the fact that this was the grocery getter of the 70s, I swear almost every family had a Country Squire with the lovely wood, fan, wood paneling here. Look at this stuff. Look how just, just delightful that is. Is it fake? You bet. But it's still cool because it goes back to the days when they were wooden. Station wagons, by the way, trivia point here. Why were they called station wagons? because they were meant to be going from train stations, station wagon. Right. So let's take a look at this lovely door. Again, push button handle. Got to get some, some, some muscle flex in there. Look at this interior. Look at this car. Got a keyhole. You actually use a key to enter the car there with a the keyhole right here. Don't forget, that's why we have keys. But check out this interior. Now this floor, these four, four uh, mats. mats, I can't talk today, geez. Thanks, Greg. That's all right. That's all right. These floor mats are actually the original ones that they, they were options, but look at the detail and the design on those floor mats. I think they are awesome. Again, take a look at these lovely seat belts and a bench seat. Look at that bench seat. You can slide all the way over. Oh yeah, that's true. That's a big one, yeah. Look at the space in this thing. You got family of nine, you'll fit them in there. This door is actually not open. So, um, by the way, you don't have your you don't have your fob to unlock the doors. You have to pull the doors to get it done. Look at this handle. Is that not cool? By the way, everyone who doesn't know, this is for the window window crank. Outstanding. I obviously love every detail about these cars. I'm not being overly facetious when I speak about them because I think they are truly phenomenal things. You got that back there. You can fit a lot of groceries back there. You gotta fit a lot of kids back there. One of the cool things about station wagons is some of them have these rear seats back here. Now there's a, this is the magic door gate. Also, take a look at that tail light. Look how cool that is. Curved plastic, just spectacular. Look at that. The details on here are phenomenal. But here's our magic tailgate. Opens three different ways. Here's a door handle. Why not let the kids in? Let those kids in. Now these are two facing back seats and they're tiny, but you could sit the kids back there and they could sit there and wave at the people behind them or do other things to the people behind them, which we hope they didn't do. Now, yeah, no poking their, yeah, no, no like picking their nose or anything, which is gross. But this is one way you would open the door. You can roll down the window by the front. It's got an electric window, okay? Then 
when you really want to use it as a, as a, a like utilitarian vehicle, gotta shut those doors. Uh, pull down the tailgate. Oh, this thing is strong and heavy. Woo. There we go. Look at that tailgate. Now you can fold those seats down. These would go flat. Fold them down. You can and fold that back seat down. You can put a four by eight in there, no problem. You can put a big old sleeping bag in there and sleep back there. They're probably locked in position. Um, but amazing vehicle. And then we're gonna start this puppy up. I love that tailgate. Listen to that sound. It's glorious, glorious sound. And of course you got the luggage rack in case you don't have enough space inside. with me and Greg.